But this ideology, this is also, this, this cuts very deeply into the whole notion of parents' rights. There's a Linmar Community School in Iowa that our, our foundation here in Washington recently weighed into a court case. But believe it or not, at this school there's a policy that your child can get a gender transition plan from the health department at this public school without ever notifying you as a parent or getting your permission. Now at the same school, the student has to bring a signed permission slip to get a Tylenol from the school nurse. I mean, that's a, that's a radical gender ideology that, I mean, that's just not just bad policy, that's crazy. And, and I, think, I think calling uh, out the radical left on this issue, calling out the radical left on, on the destruction of women's sports in this country, uh, it, 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 that it's a fight that we can win. I, I truly believe the overwhelming majority of the American people uh, understand the, the primacy of parents' rights and the need to protect children from making decisions with regard to their body and their physiology before their age of minority without, without notification or consent. And, and I'm, I'm heartily supportive of efforts in Indiana and elsewhere that simply prohibit chemical and, and medical uh, surgical changes to children before the age of majority. I, I, we, we've got to push back on this transgender agenda in very real ways. And, and also remember there's a religious liberty element here. At that very same school a student can be penalized if they don't express the proper pronoun to a student or say anything that may be viewed as uh, is showing hostility, like if you said you believed in your heart that God created them male and female. You could literally be punished at school for saying that. So I, I, I really do believe there's a religious liberty element here. There's a common sense element. There's a parental rights element. This is a fight we can win. This is a fight we must win for our kids and for our families and for values in this country. So a version of the question